We're looking at a huge amount of interest in this. I think this is good for Bitcoin price because I think well, there's going to be a lot of talk about this Bitcoin thing. There's going to be a lot of activity in Bitcoin options. There's going to be, um, a, it's going to create a lot of new strategies around holding Bitcoin. And I think it's just going to be fantastic for Bitcoin. When's it going to start? Well, the SEC has approved it. So now we're waiting on the um, Chicago Board of Exchange, uh, CBOE. Um, and, and I think there might be, there, there might be a few more approvals, but it, it could happen pretty quick is my understanding. But it's been approved, so I think we're going to look forward to you know, eventually a, a pretty significant rise in Bitcoin and an amazing trading opportunity. So, Mathematician Fred Krueger believes that there will be a ton of excitement and buzz building around Bitcoin, and that's great news for its price. More people are going to be talking about Bitcoin, and there will be a lot of activity in Bitcoin options. All of this attention will lead to new ways for people to invest in and hold Bitcoin, which is going to be absolutely fantastic for its future. This is because the SEC has already given the green light, and now they're just waiting on a few more approvals. Once that happens, things could move faster for Bitcoin. Stay until the end of the video to hear Fred Krueger as he reveals more details about how Bitcoin could skyrocket very soon. Also guys, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy staying up to date with finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind. Now, here's Fred Krueger on Bitcoin's unstoppable growth. I just wanted to give you a little bit my forecast now, given we had this you know, 50 basis point rate kite, hike, uh, rate to cut. And, uh, and you know, I'm... I put a post on this on Twitter, and it really, you know, I really like Mark Moss's thinking. Uh, Mark um, is a YouTuber, he's also on X, but but really on YouTube, and he's interviewed by Natalie Brunel, and basically frames this as two possibilities. So possibility one, Trump gets in. Mark thinks it's about a sixty-five percent shot. I actually think it's a little less. I think it's more like. 55% shot that Trump gets in. I do think he's going to win. He has the best chance of winning. But I, so I'm kind of agreeing with like Nate Silver there that he is the favorite, in my opinion. Um, but I think it's going to be pretty close. It's going to really depend on Pennsylvania and I, I don't know, Philadelphia. I, I don't know how this, these, uh, this is going to turn out. But if Trump gets in, He's probably going to do a couple things. Uh, he's probably going to do some form of Bitcoin as a reserve in the reserve. And it may not be enormous. It may just be a token amount, but it's going to be significant psychologically. Other nations are going to take notice. Other nations are going to front run the U.S. And uh, it's going to be very positive for Bitcoin. He's going to almost certainly abolish Operation Choke Point 2.0. Uh, he's going to eliminate the SEC uh, uh, sort of obstacles to the greater crypto ecosystem. Um, I think that's going to go away. And I think all these things are going to be very positive for Bitcoin. And I think he's also going to be extremely aggressive on rates. And I think rates are going to go all the way down to 2% or lower by the end of 2025. So I think in that scenario, that's sort of the best possible scenario for Bitcoin. I think we're going to go to 300,000 or maybe even 400,000 by the end of next year. So I think we're looking at a 5x from here. So that's really positive. If Kamala gets in, uh, I think it's less less favorable. Uh, but I think we still have the end of the, the election uncertainty. Um, I think, you know, we're going to get rate cuts. We're going to get further rate cuts. Right now, the rate cuts are suggesting we go to 280 by the end of 2025. So let's say we get there. Uh, with the rate cuts, the new president, new administration, spending, I think we're going to get to Bitcoin 180 um, by the end of next year. So a 3x. So either way, we're going to get somewhere like a 3x or a 5x in, in either of my scenarios. And that's going to require something like it's going to require something 
that's going to push the market cap from one trillion more or less to something like four trillion more or less. So you're going to need three trillion of additional market cap, which uh, is going to require about a hundred billion dollars of a, at a multiple of about thirty. So can we find a hundred billion dollars in in this kind of environment? I think we can. Because we have currently six trillion dollars sitting in money markets, we have this huge rate cut, first year of the cycle. We have all these ETFs. We have advisors are starting to come on board. We have sovereigns. We have people like Michael Dell. Hundred billion should be doable. Maybe we get even many more than that, but hundred billion should be doable.、Um, just to put things in perspective, the net ETF inflows have been only about fifteen billion. Uh, for so far in 2024, so I mean, sky's the limit for 2025, and I think either way, I think we're looking at something like between a three x and a five x、um, is kind of my my two scenarios. And let's say the average will be four x. So I'm happy. And so a lot of people are talking about these IBIT options. A lot of confusion, a lot of speculation. Let me add my ten cents here. So. Um, first of all, what are these、uh, IBIT options, and、um, uh, what uh, uh, what are they likely to to do? Well, number one, they're going to be very popular. Why do I think that? The reason I think that is, if you look at、uh, the last four to five years, these perpetual futures. Uh, that were introduced by Arthur Hayes at Bitmax、uh, have proved extremely popular,、um, and they were popular at Bitmax.、Um, they and so just to, what what are these things? These are sort of a future without an expiration date, right? So instead of futures happening quarterly with quarterly expirations、um, or monthly, depending on the future,、um, these. These things are just vehicles for allowing you to get leverage without a specific expiration date, right? And they don't have any kind of delivery process. There's no mark-to-market process. There's sort of a continuous mark-to-market, and if you're、um, at a threshold, you just get liquidated. And that's sort of the、uh, the invention of、uh, a perps. As they're called, and so they were very popular under, under Bitmax. They were shut down by the SEC. They migrated to FTX, and in fact, they pretty much are the engine that grew FTX. And then Binance basically copied and pasted, and then they became enormous on Binance, adding even more、um, growth to Binance. So this is a very, very popular format now.、Uh, there are also options.、Um, On Bitcoin, that are out there on Deribit, on LedgerX, which was owned by FTX, it was bought by FTX late in its existence. But these are more regulated, and general in general, U.S. citizens can't take advantage of them,、um, so they're a little less popular. But these these options that are coming out right now offer many of the same features as perps, except. They offer it in a much better format, and they offer it to U.S. citizens. So they're it's just going to be massively popular. Okay. The second thing is,、uh, let's just fo- focus on the call option side. So IBIT call options are allowing will allow people to capture the upside of Bitcoin without limited downside. Now, a lot of people. Would like to add some Bitcoin to their portfolio, without necessarily, you know, putting ten percent of their portfolio into Bitcoin、uh, or more, right? So, how do you do this? How do you get this kind of outsized Bitcoin exposure without without actually buying a very large amount of Bitcoin? You do that by、um, adding calls. So, I think there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of hedge funds, a lot of other. Letter players that, that basically buy longer dated calls, and if you look at kind of the、uh, power law, right? This is exactly what the power law says you can do. It says these things, even if volatility is very high, 
these things are going to necessarily, they're going to, it's going to be a winning strategy, right? So, um, you know, I think we're going to have a lot of players who want to do this, want to buy those uh, calls. And I also think there's going to be a lot of selling uh, of these calls. And that's really the third part. And why is that? Well, if you own Bitcoin, this is a way for you to generate, quote unquote, yield off your Bitcoin. So, you know, in spaces we've talked about sort of selling the at the money uh, call option on Bitcoin and you can sell something that's you know, 20% out of the money, not at the money, 20% out of the money for a one month option, you can earn you know, several percentage points per month by doing that. So if you just want to sit there and, and hold the Bitcoin, but they're sort of sell off your longer, your upside, uh, it's, it's a great strategy and you can harvest the premium. And if Bitcoin does nothing, you're going to make 20% a year. And a lot of people love that. So I think the there's both buyers for the call options and there's a lot of sellers of covered call options. So And there, there's a different cross uh, option strategies that can be put in play. But I just think this is going to be massive, right? The call option marketplace is going to be massive. And finally, put option buying. Uh, I think as we kind of get to new crazy heights, a lot of people are going to buy put options to hedge their risk in the case of a either temporary downturn, maybe a one-year downturn, but maybe if people just feel nervous about the market, I think there's going to be a, a lot of put buying. So I think generally speaking, we're looking at a huge amount of interest in this. I think this is good for Bitcoin price because I think well, there's going to be a lot of talk about this Bitcoin thing. There's going to be a lot of activity in Bitcoin options. There's going to be, um, a, it's going to create a lot of new strategies around holding Bitcoin. And I think it's just going to be fantastic for Bitcoin. When's it going to start? Well, the SEC has approved it. So now we're waiting on the um, Chicago Board of Exchange, uh, CBOE, Um and and I think there might be there, there might be a few more approvals, but it, it could happen pretty quick, is my understanding. But it's been approved, so I think we're going to look forward to you know, eventually a, a pretty significant rise in Bitcoin and an amazing trading opportunity. So Fred Krueger strongly believes that Bitcoin is about to explode in value, with a huge rate cut just happening. Bitcoin is sitting strong at sixty-two thousand dollars and things are only looking up. He believes that if Trump wins the next election, Bitcoin could shoot up to an incredible $300,000 or even $400,000 by the end of next year. Trump might push for Bitcoin to be used in the US reserve, which would be a massive win and other countries would quickly follow. He also thinks Trump will clear the way for crypto by getting rid of obstacles, making Bitcoin unstoppable. Anyway guys, before we go, if you want to stay most up to date on the crypto and Bitcoin world, make sure to subscribe to my daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It's a concise resource for the latest expert predictions, breaking news, and top on-chain analysis, trusted by over 50,000 subscribers for insightful crypto investment information. Don't miss out on the opportunity to stay informed in the crypto market. The link is in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and that it provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one, and as always, all the best.